Okay, here we have a GoPro HD Hero 2 uh, along with an LCD backpack. We'll take a look at this in uh, just a minute. Let's have a look at the, uh, the actual GoPro itself. I want to mount this to my bike, so uh, I thought I'd uh, finally go for one of these, considering that it's two times better than the previous uh, generation, the Hero. Um, and also comes with some other features such as the HDMI out and uh, and so on. So uh, let's, I know there's loads of unboxing videos on YouTube already so we'll just make this one quick and we'll, I'll just quickly show you what comes in the box. So there's two little tabs on each side. Quickly undo them. Down. There we go. So it's nothing in that box, it's just a, a display case. Bear in mind I purchased the actual motorsport version. Now the reason why I purchased the motorsport version is it comes with the um, the sucker. So the suction cup. Now if you were to purchase a suction cup separately, it actually costs more than the helmet mount, so that's the more expensive of the two. So I decided to go with the suction cup. If I need the helmet mount later on, I can always purchase that and that will work out slightly cheaper overall. So there we go, that's the motorsport version. Now we have another tab to pull here. So we remove that. There we go, and then the top comes away. Here's the actual camera itself. So you've got the SD slot and the HDMI there, USB, um, TV out and mic, and just a port on the back to attach the backpacks. So if I open this, we've got the user manual, we open the box up. Take these out and I can put the box to one side. So in the small of the two boxes we have a standard mini USB to USB cable. We have the battery and an open back door, so the back door with uh, holes in for better sound. And a couple of stickers and in the larger box we have some adhesive mounts, I believe there's three curved and three straight adhesive mounts and suction cup so I literally just opened this obviously in front of you so I'm not sure how to use it but uh, I believe you put it against your uh, your surface, press that in to suck out all the air and then lift this up just to suck it back up again and that sticks quite securely to your surface. We've got a J mount and a th another three way mount here and I'm not sure what's that what that's used for so feel free to comment below and let me know and that's all we get in that box. So there we go, so here's the camera itself. So if I remove that from the base. Okay, finally got it removed from the base. It was two clips there that we had to pull together to remove it from the actual base. Uh, we can have a closer look at it here. So pull this up actually open. There we go. Now from all the videos I've seen and from all the pictures I've seen it seems a plasticky typical Chinese toy but um, it does have, now that I've handled it for the first time it does have a, a more quality feel to it. It doesn't seem like the the typical Chinese plasticky toy that you receive. Um, so it does have a bit more weight to it nice large lens there 
you've got your lights on each side. So that's the actual GoPro itself, so let's take a look at the actual backpack. Okay, so here's the actual LCD backpack. So for ease, I'm just going to open this one from the bottom. This is an expensive accessory, but uh, quite a useful one, I think, just for lining up your shots and so on. So it's nothing else in the box there. In this box, you receive some extra back doors. So your standard waterproof back door, wrist housings, and the non-waterproof back door. And you also receive uh, a user guide. So these back doors obviously just being slightly more thicker so that you can fit the LCD. They're all covered in plastics, which you have to remove. This all uh, keeps the LCD covered and completely waterproof. So here's the LCD itself. Nothing much to see. You've got the typical GoPro, GoPro mount at the back, a speaker on one side, and a single play button there. And if I remove the GoPro from its case, you just attach it by simply hooking one end in and then pushing the mount together. There we go. So it makes it slightly heavier, um, obviously thicker overall, but uh, very useful just to line up your shots and then you can simply press the button to switch it off. I haven't actually, as I've only just opened this, I've not actually put the battery in this and, and tried it, so I'll come back once I've done all of that and charge the battery up. But um, very useful just to line up your shot and then you can press the button just to switch it off, save the extra battery power and uh, you'll know that your shot is in the correct direction. OK, I've just inserted the battery and as you can see the LCD has come straight on so the firmware of this uh, camera should be completely up to date. You can see the display on the front, it shows you the quality you're recording at and so on and whether you're recording video or photo. If we turn it over we can see the LCD working here. If I press the button at the side, it switches it off. So you can line up your shot and then switch the uh, the LCD off and then press it again, it switches the LCD back in. If I keep the button pressed, you get some settings, so video, photo, brightness, volume, um, and so on. So we use the button at the front to actually go up and down, auto power off after 60 seconds, and then the button at the top to select. Here we go. Um, so everything's working as it should. I'll go away, charge the battery up because the battery is very low. Um, it's just a little bit that you get in there when you actually purchase the item new. And uh, come back with uh, my initial thoughts. Okay, what I've also got here is a small Olympus. This actually came with a dictation machine, but it's a small Olympus ME52 microphone. So hopefully you can see that on the actual uh, camera at the moment. So it's just a straightforward small 3.5mm microphone. I believe it was used with a dictation machine. Um, but also comes with the, the foam cover here to reduce wind noise. And I'm actually going to be plugging this into the GoPro. So you can actually use this with the GoPro if I take it out of the case here for a moment. So you can purchase a skeleton housing which has a space on the side for you to use all of the ports even when it's in the housing and then you can insert this into the actual microphone port here and what you can do, the beauty with this microphone is actually you can turn it into your, the correct direction. So it's got a small hinge built onto the microphone so you can turn it into a right angle like so and then point it towards the sound source. So there we go, so you can use your HD um, Hero 2 with external audio by simply pointing the microphone to correct to the correct sound source. So that way, and you can actually turn it back that way and record like that if you're going to be uh, adding some commentary along with the actual video. 
so your microphone is actually pointing towards yourself. So uh, a nice little gadget just to uh, add on to the GoPro once I've purchased the skeleton housing uh, just so you can get some uh, better quality audio so what I'll do is I'll make another video uh, once everything's charged up and once it's all working and uh, we'll check to see what the sound quality is like using the built-in microphone of the actual camera and using the external microphone and see if it's a whole lot better.